Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And we're going to kick off this edition of Friday's Finds with a product that's not going to be found on Amazon. It's not a sponsored product, but I think it's a it, it's such an important and valuable product for you, the RVer. If you're an RVer, you may not be an RVer, but if you're an RVer, you're gonna wanna see this. This was totally out of pocket for me. This is from, hold on, gotta get the, gotta, it's upside down. I gotta, gotta rotate my box. This is from, Shade RV. This is a Texas-based company. They're out in West Texas. Uh, the prices were surprisingly lower than I was expecting uh, when I was researching putting up a shade structure for the motorhome. Uh, I went through a couple of different thought processes and thanks to a Google internet search for RV umbrellas, I ran across the Shade RV website. I'm all in on this for right about $900. Now I don't normally talk about pricing because pricing is dynamic, but to put that in perspective, $900 for this, and if it works, it'll pay for itself in one year. Uh, to, to put up a, a shade structure for the motor home on our RV pad, we're looking at 14, 10, 12 to 14,000 for one of the inexpensive metal ones. I can do a fabric shade for somewhere around $700. That would be six posts stuck in the ground and a shade cloth stretched tight over the RV. And it would be a permanent fixture here. And for 900, I have a shade that I'll be able to take with us. So I'm, we're gonna unbox this and I'm gonna figure out how to put that up there on top of Trudy Thunder. And we'll, we'll go from there and see what's inside. Right off the bat, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I like the, I like the fabric. So we're, we're assembling the rod. We take that gives us one complete rod. So each one of these rods has a socket and a place to put the, the rod right there.
Okay, now I've got to roll it up. <laughs> but I got to roll it up so it's upside down. I got to figure out how to roll it up so that it I can unroll it on the roof. That would have been easier with a second person. Good forearm workout. All right, now that's ready to go on the roof. Now I gotta figure out the, the tie down points. How are we gonna secure this to Trudy Thunder? I gotta sort through all this. To figure out the best way to do it. These are pads to protect the side of the RV. That strap needs to be at about a, a 45 degree angle. I, I gotta say thank you to Casey Liddell and Ron Pratt. Cause I wouldn't have thought of it without watching their, their stuff. Check it out. Worked out perfect. Okay, the next step is to start unrolling and tensioning the straps. So I got it tight. Fits in between all my stuff. Put a little platform back here to stand on. What do you think? Doesn't look too bad. Looks kind of like a old Constanuga wagon, an old covered wagon. I like it a lot. Plenty of room under there for airflow. Summer is almost here. This arrived just in time. This, yes, I did find this on Amazon. No, this is not a sponsored product. This is the Coolify Air Ultralight Personal Air Conditioner. It's not just one of them fan things. This is actually a bona fide cooling device it has these power these plates that are like superconductors or something and and they chill it down supposedly you know, 500 milliamp hour extended battery and a fan I think it also heats so we're gonna open this package and see what's in it and then I'm gonna chill it down charge it up not chill it down charge it up and then tomorrow, maybe this afternoon, depending on how long it takes to charge, we'll see how well it works. I'll get it out. There's a cord. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's not very big at all. And it's got a little battery, but not much. So we're going to charge it up. And there's probably an app. So let me get it all charged up. And I'll be back. And we'll talk cool air. This Friday's Finds has a theme. It is. <laughs> it's so hot. This is the. Let's cool it down edition of Friday's Finds. So we did, the, we did the, the shade on the RV and that really helped. But I'm still hot. The little air con neck air conditioner, working with it, 
and it actually works, but I'm still hot. You know what would be great right now? A little ice cream. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's take a look at this box. You're gonna like it too, I guarantee you. This is, this is the, this is from Tasty. Oh boy, any, any name with a name like Tasty has got to be a good item. It's from Tasty. Oh, this is, a, th this is not sponsored. This is desperately needed. This is, this was on sale. This is the Tasty one pint ice cream maker how cool is that and it's it's pink so yappy she's gonna get excited ziva's gonna think it's hers recipe book check it out that's so cute look at look at that one pint it's the perfect size. I can have fresh made ice cream whenever I want. Comes with a, the blender. Look at that, that's the perfect size. So we have to, uh, I gotta go get this clean. And then uh, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I'm gonna read the owner's manual. And then uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we make ice cream. We've been having an issue with flies. So I, I need to create a no fly zone. You really want one of those, trust me. So I did a little, a little surfing on Amazon. This may not work. I don't know. I want to support what's in here, which is a very large mosquito net. I want to attach it to the side of Trudy. Check out the size of that suction cup. Trudy's got a automotive paint job, so it's super. She's super slick. Comes with a couple of stainless steel S hooks. You clamp that on, and then you have a, an anchor point. So the plan. The plan is to put this right up here. And we're gonna hang that mosquito netting from a two or three of these, maybe four, depending on depending on how it all plays out. So that's our suction cup, that's the mounting point on the side. And then we have the netting. So let me go to work. We'll see if we can create a no-fly zone. Well, good morning. Worked several hours yesterday in the heat. Realized uh, I, I was a little short on idea for one. Because uh, originally what I was, was doing this no fly zone in my head, it was basically going to be a drape and tape. So when I pulled out all the, the mesh and spread it and kind of pulled it out, I realized, well, I'm gonna, I may not have enough to do what I had in my head. Uh, and it would be nice if we had some shade on this side of the RV because it catches that morning sun and, and heats up the wall. <laughs> so I ran to town and as I was going into town, I had an epiphany about some material that I already have, which are the uh, several episodes back on Friday's finds, I talked about tarps. 
uh, shade tarps specifically. I have two of those. They're very similar to the the RV shade thing. Uh, so I actually have a small one and I pulled it out. Small being eight by 10. And there we go. We have a bona fide no fly zone. It's not 100% bug proof, wasn't intended to be. But you see the flies like to hang out on the side of the RV and they do it right at the door. So when you open the door, you get flies inside. We also want to do some cooking outside and with the flies being as heavy as they have been, it was, it was, we didn't want to cook outside. But now we have a place to have an outdoor kitchen space. Caught two already. I just put this out, three. We're happy, very happy. Got a little breeze when there's no wind blowing. So I'll, I'll provide, uh, I'll add to the Friday's Finds playlist the, the, these tarps, because these are great. I, I travel with two, because if you need a windbreak, you got one. If you need a shade, you got one. We're gonna make some ice cream. Half cup, two eggs, vanilla, and cork up because it's still a work day for Yappy. I'm gonna uh, be working in silence, so I'm gonna find some cool ice cream making tunes and let you, we're, we're gonna do a little different because it's still a work day for Yappy. I'm gonna uh, be working in silence, so I'm gonna find some cool ice cream making tunes and let you, we're, we're gonna do a little different. inch and a half from the top because that's going to expand. Now we wait. He's ready. And that's in your narrative anyway. Okay, so the, um, he wasn't working. I mean, we really... A yeah. couple days later, a couple days after those two projects, uh, and we've reached the end of this video, but before I closed it out, I wanted to, you know, have a little, some time so I could give you my, my honest, bona fide opinion. No question, the, the shade for the RV, that makes a huge difference. You can actually feel the UV rays when you're in the RV, but with the shade, you know, we're not having that. We're not having to run the ACs nearly as much. 
and the no fly zone is working like a charm i'm about to find out how simple they are to or or if they work the way i intended which is easy setup easy takedown because we've got a crew showing up in a couple days to get that done and to dig a trench and run our water uh yeah so i gotta i gotta move trudy in order to get the big trucks of rock in here so i gotta break it all down and uh yeah gonna break it all down relocate her and next time you see us we'll be back there we've reached the end it came down real simple. Yep, anyway, we're done. I'm running along. Ice cream is really awesome. I find that that, that two or three egg yolks, a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of allulose, and a little bit of vanilla. It's keto friendly, tastes really good. And since I'm on this ketovore diet, I, I need lots of fat and so I'm eating that every day. I like that ice cream maker so much, I've got a second one on order so that I can make more. <laughs> I'm, I'm living on ice cream. How can you complain about that? Anyway, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, thank you so much for spending time with us. If you found something of value, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd slap that thumbs up tell tell that youtube algorithm that this is video worthy of watching so it'll push it out to somebody else post a comment down there tell me what your favorite ice cream is for those of you who have already subscribed and have been following along and have been following along thank you so much i really appreciate that it helps so much and for our patrons we are so grateful for your generosity. Thank you. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now. You hear?